UTAG on December 20 last year served notice in a communique to withdraw its services until government addresses what it described as worsening conditions of service of its members. It asks government to restore members to the 2013 interim market premium of 114% basic salary in the interim. On Monday, January 10, 2022, it carried through with a decision and withdrew its services in all 15 branches across the country. We have only redrawn teaching. So as we are speaking, I have colleagues, youth tag members who are uh, all masters, all tutors and so on receiving the students, especially the freshest and continuing students. Mm. So uh, we would ask the students to remain calm and patient whilst uh, we negotiate with government, especially on our conditions of service. The ongoing strike has left many students stranded at various university campuses across the country. Pleading with the government, like they should actually do something about it because it's really hurting us. Today being my first time in school without lectures around, I feel disappointed. The Fair Wages and Salaries Commission and the National Labour Commission have indicated it has been difficult dealing with UTAG. According to the laws of this country, you cannot negotiate whilst you are on strike. So you will wonder uh, if UTAG, the leadership of UTAG, knowing this and claiming they are fighting for the cause of their constituents, why would they go on strike? Because the strike is where you are locked out of any negotiation. An organizational development and change management specialist is urging both parties to deepen discussions towards reaching a consensus. Within a spirit of fairness, accountability, transparency, once these figures are thrown at them, obviously these are rational beings and they will see reason to it and I think that should be the direction moving forward. On Thursday, January 13, the lecturers will be pushing hard for a settlement while government convinces UTAG members to return to the lecture halls.